Hello everyone, this is your coach Pressy and tonight I am so honored and uh, blessed uh, to be here right now with our guest for tonight, Dr. Jerry Grillo from the Fag Zone Ministry in North Carolina. So join us because this will be a great night for everyone. Those who will be hearing these words, I believe that everyone will be impacted by this powerful message. So stay tuned. I have lived my whole life and missed some of the greatest nuggets out of Genesis 26. You know, the whole Bible mm. is a manuscript for success. Yes, yes. And, and I think the, the religion, the religious arena made the Bible kind of a book of, you know, don't, 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 be, yes. be, you know. <laughs> And the more I read the Bible, the more I realize it's the marriage's manuscript for a better marriage. Yes. It's the entrepreneur's manuscript for a better business. Indeed. It's the health, it's the body's manuscript for better health. Yes, it works <laughs> in every aspect as well. The Bible is the hidden nugget. Yes. To every code of conduct to every season we live in. Yes, that's right. No, I am in agreement to what you are saying. <laughs> and I think I think it gets us gets a bad rap because we 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 were trying to be so holy mm -hmm. from the pulpit. Yes. That we, we didn't preach the full, you know, so then we 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 took nuggets out of it, you know, like mm -hmm. and uh and you know, just got people ready. I was listening to a guy preach the other day and he just was I mean, just preaching, you know, hell and how to get ready for heaven. And I, I sat there and I thought, I said, well, this guy just preached and taught us how to die and how to get to heaven. I'm going to spend 30 minutes telling you how to live. <laughs> <laughs> That's how religious people work. They're telling people how to die. <laughs> they, they put you in a cul-de-sac. And everybody that's on Kingdom Talk right now watching, we don't, we're, we're, we're our job in, at Favor Talk and Kingdom Talk is to get you out of the cul-de-sac, yes. the, 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 the circling, the insanity of, of not being able to find your best life. You know what? Your mm -hmm. best life is to be lived now. Yes, to that's right. Best life. Mm -hmm. Amen. <laughs> Jesus said, I come that you might have life. Yes. And then he, he didn't stop there. If he had just stopped there, if Jesus would have just stopped with that, that would have been great. Mm -hmm. John 10, 10. I come that you just had life. If, I mean, just to live is, is good to know I'm going to live. Yes. But he didn't want you to live a survival life. Mm -hmm. It wasn't about surviving. Mm -hmm. It wasn't about just getting through. Yes. Just, you know, it was an abundant life. He said, yes. not just life, but I've come to give you an abundant life. Mm -hmm. Now that word abundant, in the Greek is an oversufficient quantity wow. of something. Wow. Wow. <laughs> it never runs dry. <laughs> never. And, and here's the thing about the kingdom of God. It is a worldwide principle. Mm -hmm. it is, it, it's not an American yes. gospel. Mm -hmm. So people think from, I was just talking the other night to um, Central and South America mm -hmm. uh, on a JBN network. And here's the Philippines, and mm -hmm. I've been in Africa, I've been in Malaysia. And you know what I found out? The kingdom of God is a worldwide yes. principle working, yes. understanding that the wealth of heaven can get to your house. Wow. Yes, it's not specifically for a certain nation, but it's it will work throughout the world, throughout all the nation. I call it the kingdom nation. Well, I like kingdom wow. talk, kingdom nation, the kingdom <laughs> nation. The kingdom yes. nation is the most wealthiest and prosperous nation mm -hmm. on planet earth because the yes. Bible says the kingdom of God is from everlasting to everlasting. Yes, it, it never ends. Yes. God's kingdom starting in the, in the garden of Eden, the kingdom of God has been everlasting to everlasting. Now, the key is understanding dominion, mm -hmm. dominion. God gave man dominion, but the Bible said dominion, it goes from generation to generation. Yeah. So the kingdom's everlasting, everlasting. But what I do in my generation decides my dominion. Yes. So if you don't have dominion over your mind, over your house, over your money, mm -hmm. it's not that God didn't set you up. The kingdom's everlasting, everlasting. It's that you're not unlocking mm -hmm. the principal keys you, you require wow. to open the doors to what you need. Yes. Isn't that powerful? 
Yes, that is so powerful, Dr. Jerry. <laughs> and I know that there will be a lot of revelation and nuggets that we are about to receive right now. We're receiving them now. I hope you're recording. Yes. <laughs> Actually, we're not starting yeah, this yet. Is talk. This yes. is what I like. I like wow. this talking right here. Yes, yes. People, and people are watching. People yes. are listening. Yes. People are hungry. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you something. The quantum physics of the Bible is, is in Ecclesiastes chapter 3. Mm -hmm. Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiastes chapter 3, the wisest man on the earth, the richest man that ever lived, King yes. Solomon. Mm hmm he said, to every season, there is a time and a purpose. Yes. To every season, mm -hmm. there's a time and a purpose. How do I know I'm in a season? I look for time and purpose. Mm -hmm. Every season is predicated with timing and purpose. Mm -hmm. Some of you are in a good season. Some of you are in a bad season. Some of you are in a tough season. Every season is unlocking timing and purpose. And then it says, there's a time to die. There's a time to weep. Yeah, Everybody yes. knows that. There's a time to mourn. There's a time to shout. Then God gets, Solomon gets to something, and he says to every season, he said, look, God turns everything beautiful. I, I wow. turn it over to you. So yes. here's the key to every season. Mm -hmm. let, me, let me get over there to it. I just feel an anointing to talk about it. Is this good? Is this good, Pressy? Yes, yes. Yes, Doc. <laughs> I'm learning now. <laughs> see, see, so if you get over to Ecclesiastes chapter 3, and, and, and I, I can't get out of it. And this correlates with Genesis 26. This correlates with Romans chapter 8. Mm -hmm. And if you're listening to me, write this down. Write these down. The, 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 I'm going to give you five keys real quick. Write them down. Five mm -hmm. keys real quick. Yes. Number one, situation. Mm -hmm. Number two, reaction. Mm -hmm. Number three, instruction. Mm -hmm. Number four, warfare. Warfare, yes. Number five, favor. Mm -hmm. yeah now you're never going to have god's favor ever until you have to go through the system of a situation a reaction an instruction and the warfare yeah it's not gonna happen mm -hmm. see and, then, and and how you how you react to a situation is costing you everything the, yeah. the situation was not sent to destroy you the situation was sent to unlock you. Wow. Yes. Everything you're becoming is a result of pressure. Mm -hmm. No one knows what you're made of until you're pressed. Mm -hmm. Yes. And, and people who fear situations, people who quit in a situation, every situation, there's somebody watching me right now. The situation you went through is literally put, took you out of the game. You've allowed a certain situation to put fear in you, to stop you, to put hate in you and anger. Yeah. This, this last situation we just came out of, this 2020 COVID. Mm -hmm. Some people have not rebound nor recuperated mm -hmm. from being locked up in their house. You have to make a decision right now that I'm going to have a God kind of reaction yes. to every situation. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Yes, come on, Dr. Jerry. <laughs> and and here's here's the reaction. See, this is Ecclesiastes chapter three. Here's the mm -hmm. reaction. I need to talk to God in a situation. And what I'm talking to God about is not about the situation. I'm asking for an instruction mm -hmm. in it. Yes. There's a divine code to every season. Wow. And when you master the code in the instruction, mm -hmm. your reaction to the instruction will put you in an accelerated path through that season. Wow. And the situation is setting you up for a revelation. Wow. <laughs> Glory. <laughs> it's just as set up <laughs> for a comeback. Everybody, and it doesn't matter. What, I don't care if you're watching from the Philippines. I don't care if you're watching me from. I don't care if you're watching me from Tibet. I don't. It doesn't matter where you watch China, Japan. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Maybe you just jumped on here, didn't never even watch Kingdom Talk. You don't even know who we are. Mm -hmm. You're gonna have a situation. Yeah. This is the unequivocal fact about life. You're either in a crisis, mm -hmm. coming out of a crisis, or about to go in a crisis. Mm -hmm. That's it. <laughs> That's it. That's life. Yes. That's life. You, nobody's exempt from this. Mm -hmm. Situations are going to happen, and they're only situational. 
they're not yes. they're not they're not made to, to yes. destroy you mm -hmm. they show up to create a new dimensional path to wow. god's great wow yes hallelujah oh, good God. <laughs> naaman, naaman gets to the prophet and he says i'm dying of leprosy i heard you know how to do miracles and here's the prophet he naaman's in a situation the prophet says, go to the Jordan and dip seven times. Mm -hmm. The instruction to the situation mm -hmm. is going to require a reaction. Yes. The warfare you're fighting, mm -hmm. it's not over the situation. The warfare you're fighting is over obeying the instruction. Yes. The Bible says Isaac began to prosper. This is Genesis 26 mm -hmm. and continued to prosper until, and here's the thing, beginning's easy. The warfare to success is how well do you continue? Yes. Consistency. Mm -hmm. Can you keep tithing when you're in a situation? Can you keep praising mm -hmm. in a situation? Yes. Can you continue to keep your joy in a situation? Yes. Can you keep a divine reaction? Mm-hmm. In a bad situation. Mm -hmm. Continuing is where warfare is. The warfare over continuing. Why? Because hell fears what you're going to become. Wow. Yes. Isaac began to prosper. That's 30 fold. Mm -hmm. He continued to prosper. That's 60 fold. This is Genesis 26 verse 13. Mm -hmm. Until he became a hundred fold believer. Wow. He continued until he became came very very prosperous wow he never stopped the battle was to obey the instruction here's the instruction the bible said genesis 26 there was a famine in the land mm -hmm. the bible says that god told that, that there was no famine in egypt so the bible said you got to paint a picture it, obviously isaac is packing his bags getting his family getting his flock and he's going to head to egypt why mm -hmm. because there's famine in gerar but there's favor and feasting in egypt mm -hmm. god comes down into the situation and gives him instruction and here's the instruction don't go to egypt stay mm -hmm. in gerar mm -hmm. now god never gives us an instruction that makes any sense to our feelings yes god will never tell you something that feels comfortable yeah. mm-hmm his instructions always seem irrational. I got a family. I got a wife. I got kids. This is Isaac. Think of Isaac. Think what he's going through. He says, I got, my, I got flocks. I got, I got wealth. I'm in a famine. We have mm -hmm. no water. Mm -hmm. I, Egypt, there's success. I'm moving my family. I can take care of them there. And God says, no, you're going to stay in famine. Why? Because if you can follow the instruction in a situation, the reaction to the instruction is what God's going to teach you. Mm -hmm. Isaac and everybody else watching me, I will show you how to become the source when all resource has run out. Wow. <laughs> That's the kingdom of God. The God says, I'm going to show you in famine how to find favor mm -hmm. and move from, move from living the, the tormented life of resource and learn how to unlock the becoming life of source. Wow. That God's goal in the situation. Oh, this is for somebody. Pressy, Pressy, this is for somebody right now. Listen to me. The goal of the situation, God's vision and, and, and his intended purpose for your life is to move you out of resource. Yes. Where you're living a 40 and 50 and 60 hour a week mm -hmm. work life. Mm-hmm into the overflowing abundance wow. of the source of his favor. Wow, wow. Oh, good God Almighty. Glory. And somebody's watching me. Maybe it's from a hospital bed right now. Mm -hmm. Maybe you're sitting in your living room. Maybe you're listening to us on your earbuds while you're running your own kingdom yeah. talk right now. Mm -hmm. God says to take a pause here and, and get in your mind right now that mm -hmm. God's about to put the source of overflow. Wow, yes. In the situation. Yes, yes. Oh, Hallelujah. <laughs> more, Dr. Jerry, more. <laughs> and the key is in this Ecclesiastes, mm -hmm. where it says, He has made everything beautiful in its time. Wow. In this that means every, listen to me. 
There has to be a furnace mm -hmm. before there can be ashes. Mm -hmm. But God said, but if you can trust me in the furnace, I'm going to turn your ashes into beauty. Wow. Yes. Hallelujah. There was a story in the Bible where Moses, God told Moses to take the ashes and throw it at his enemy. Mm -hmm. What was meant to dry you up, destroy you and kill you and burn you up, God's going to turn as a weapon against that which tried to destroy you. Hallelujah. It's, it's the situation. It's, it, God is not concerned of the situation. Mm -hmm. God is monitoring and what hell is monitoring is mine and your reaction to it. Mm -hmm. it's How do I react? react? That's right. How do I react? How do I react? Mm -hmm. What do I focus on? Mm -hmm. Do I, do I, is my reaction focusing on what I can't control? Mm -hmm. Or am I focusing on what I can control? Wow. Most people get so focused on what they can't control. They're irritated. They're frustrated. They feel defeated. But if I can get my mind on what I can control, what I can control can eventually make decisions for me to get mm -hmm. out of it. Mm -hmm. So I can't control everything around me. I can't control what people say to me. I can't always control an event in my life or my day. I don't know what tomorrow holds. I know who holds tomorrow. But I can always control what's going on in me. Yes. I have the authority to decide how I feel. That's right. And I live out loud. It's, it's time to live your life. You know what praise is, uh, Pressy? Praise is the ability to live out loud in a situation. Yes. That's Somebody ought to just take a praise <laughs> break right now and yes. just say, God, I praise you. I thank you. Hallelujah. I give you praise. I give you honor. Yes. This situation is not going to kill me. It's going to make me. It's going to rearrange me. It's just because the curtain came down in your life doesn't mean that your life is over. It means yeah. God's changing the stage for a Hallelujah. new scene. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Woo. Somebody's Woo. about to explode into a thousand sons of favor. Wow, wow. You just got to believe it. You just got to believe it. You got you to gotta master that, that, that everything in the presence of God will turn to your favor. Yes, yes. Woo, hallelujah. Hallelujah. How much more time do I have? <laughs> you still have uh, five or to ten minutes. If oh, I got to hurry. Here's the key. It says that, it says that God has put, this is verse 11. Mm -hmm. This is Ecclesiastes 3.11. God has put eternity in the hearts of men. Wow. Now listen to me. God put the kingdom in you. Mm -hmm. Yes. Not around you. It's Jesus is on the throne. The Bible said he's sitting at the right hand of the Father. Jesus said, Luke chapter 17, verse 21. Jesus didn't say he put Jesus in you. Mm -hmm. Jesus said, I put the kingdom in you. Wow. That's right. Most of us say, where does Jesus live? He lives in my heart. Jesus don't live in your heart. Mm -hmm. Jesus lives, Jesus is at the right hand of the Father. He said, the, the Colossians, Galatians, they all tell us where Jesus is located. He is mm -hmm. sitting on a throne. Mm -hmm. Who, what's, what's he throned over? A kingdom. Yes. He said, guess where I put that kingdom mm -hmm. in you. Wow. I hid eternity in the hearts of men. Let me tell you something. The difference between being made and being created. And your, your mom and daddy had to come together to make you. Mm -hmm. Your mom and daddy made you. I don't care who's watching me right now. You didn't get here without a mom and a dad. Mm -hmm. I don't care if your mom and dad didn't raise you. God, God needed a woman and God needed a man. Mm -hmm. And the man carried a seed and the woman carried the soil. Mm -hmm. And when the, when the seed went into your mom, whoever she is, 400 million other seeds was in a race beside you. Mm -hmm. But written in you was eternity. Wow. And when you came out of your mom as a little infant baby, mm -hmm. inside of that baby was eternity. Wow. Yes. You came out a winner. You you were written in your DNA is mm -hmm. a kingdom winner's code. Wow. Hell's been spending your whole life making you think you're a loser. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> you can't be a loser because you didn't get here. Mm -hmm. You can't hear me mm -hmm. unless you decided to be a winner before you had a mind, before you had eyes, before you had a mouth. What you did have was eternity. Yes. In you. Wow, 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 wow. Is in me. Mm -hmm. I'm a winner. So you ought to say this three times. I'm a winner. I'm a Why? winner. I couldn't got here. I wouldn't be talking to you. Yes. If I wasn't a winner. I'm a winner. I'm a winner. You know what? It's time to unlock eternity mm -hmm. in you. See? Mm -hmm. Now the Bible says here, it says people don't find it. And here's why. People says, but people can't find this, this eternity because they, they, they look from the beginning to the end. So here's what happens. You're, you're trying to decipher the kingdom in the intellect of a body or of a feeling and not of eternity. Mm -hmm. And you're only going to get the secret of this is in Isaiah 46. Isaiah 46. If you go to Isaiah 46, it's just a, it's just a few books over. God's going to give you the secret to finding eternity in your heart. Mm -hmm. Isaiah 46 is what he says. I'll just read it to you. Mm -hmm. It says, it says, uh, 46 verse 9, remember the former things of old, for I am God and there is none other. Watch what he said. I am God and there is none like me. Thank you, yes. God. He said, now, declaring the end from the from what? From beginning. the beginning. Yeah. Now, here's, here's the key. Here's the key to kingdom shift. Here's the key. You cannot look at your situation and figure it out from beginning to end. Mm-hmm. Because God did not do it unless he ended it before he began it. Mm -hmm. So God said, before I write the first chapter, I write the last chapter and work the book backwards. Whoa. <laughs> so that every chapter in your life should line up to the finished work of Christ. Wow. So Jesus said it is finished. So here's what he's trying to tell you. When you're in a situation, stop looking at the situation mm -hmm. and know that God has already finished you. Yes, in it. that's right. And now eternity is hit in your heart. Mm -hmm. So you got to say, listen, God's already been through my day. Mm -hmm. So I've already conquered this day. I just need to see it from God's perspective. Yes. I need to see it from the word's perspective. And this is how you control your reaction. Yes. In a situation. So the warfare to the instruction is overreaction. Mm -hmm. if, I, if in the situation I have the right instruction and I get, maintain my reaction mm -hmm. and, I, and, I, and in my warfare, the warfare is over my reaction mm -hmm. to the instruction. I will unlock divine favor. Wow. And when God starts to favor you, whatever God endorses, Hell cannot unendorse. Yes. So your business, so here's the deal. I got to go. Here's, your, here's the deal. You're already healed. You're not. So when yes. I stop trying to get God in my situation, see, here's the problem. We try to talk to God, hoping he feels bad enough about my situation that he'll fix it. Mm -hmm. That's how you got to stop praying. And you start praying like this. Stop asking God for something he's already given you and start thanking him for the finished work. Wow. Yeah. I'm already blessed. Your mm -hmm. business is already debt free. Yes. Your house is already paid for. Yes. Matter of fact, somebody watched me. You're going to own seven houses, not just one house. According mm -hmm. to Deuteronomy 6, he said houses. He didn't say house. Mm -hmm. Houses. Some of you are going to start renting and start owning houses. Wow. Yes. Some of you, the Bible said, I give you property. The Bible said, I'll give you houses. I'll give you uh, land and walls you didn't build on them. Vineyards you didn't do. There's so much in the kingdom of God that's trying to get to your house. Mm -hmm. You got to live in the finished work of the cross. Wow. Yes. That's why Jesus is the greatest decision. Every decision changes your life. The greatest decision you'll ever make today is make Jesus Lord of your house. I right now. Because in the finished work of that cross is the wealth of heaven I'm trying yes. to get to wow 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 i'm dr jerry grillo and i and that's I, that's my message and i believe it <laughs> wow wow that was indeed a very powerful message dr jerry and you never stop amazes us for that uh nuggets that we have right now and we are so thankful as well for being one of our partners dr jerry oh let, let me say this uh presley if you're yeah. watching right now I want you to make a decision. Here's, a, here's an instruction. If you believe I'm a man of God, here's an instruction. I want you to talk to the Holy Spirit about sowing seeds in the kingdom talk. I don't care who you, maybe, maybe it's your first time you ever listen, mm -hmm. but God's pricking you 
in what's what's being said. Sow your seed into something. Why? Because your seed decides harvest, mm -hmm. not your prayer. Yeah. Your prayer doesn't decide a harvest. Your seed. If hell can keep you eating your seed, mm -hmm. hell's got you right where he needs you. But if you ever let it out of your hand, the seed is the potential of calling thing that is not as though I don't have time to get back into this teaching, but go read Ecclesiastes. <laughs> that which is have already been. The seed is an already harvest waiting for you to sow. Yes, yes, yes. So yes. sow into kingdom talk, <laughs> sow into this couple. These are good men and women of God and they, they love you and I love them and I sow into them and you'll see, I, I, it's, every time I sow a seed into them, I get something, something comes in in, in the mail or something, wow. harvest shows up. So sow your seeds. Sorry. Wow. Thank you, Dr. Jerry, for this time that you have shared with us. And we are so honored and blessed to have you once again. And I believe that this message will be heard and needs to be heard by everyone that will yeah. bring impact into their life. Amen. Wow. Well, I love you guys. I love Kingdom Talk. Thank you, Dr. Jerry, in regards to your wife and to the I ministry. Will. I okay. love you guys. Bye and God bless.